Welcome to FootballGamePlan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emery Hunt, the czar of the playbook here at the 2020 Reese's Senior Bowl. One of my favorite prospects in this draft class, Lamar Jackson, cornerback from Nebraska. How you doing, man? man I'm doing good. Greatly appreciate it. I'm glad I'm one of your favorites. Yeah, because here's the thing, man. I like tall, big corners that can play. Yeah. A lot of times people say, oh, he's a big guy and they can't move. But you can move like a fluid, shorter guy about my height. Yeah. Where does that level of athleticism come from? And do you feel as though people still don't understand how good of a corner you are because you're so tall. I mean, that's definitely one of the things that that's pretty probably the knock. I mean, it's the blessing and the curse. I'm 6'3 at the end of the day playing corner. So, of course, they're going to be like, okay, yeah, I'm going to question his top end speed. Can he run? You know what I'm saying? Can he move? Is his hip fluid? So, at the end of the day, that's just one of the things that I kind of just know is always going to be a constant knock on me. So, at the end of the day, that's, that's them is the thing I'm constantly working on. When I train, you know what I'm saying? I'm focusing on my, my pad level. I'm making sure I'm low. You know what I'm saying? I'm training like I'm 5'10. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? I'm training with literal guys. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, I really train to play DB. So, like, it's one of the things, like, you know, with repetition and stuff like that, you know, as long as you stretching and staying loose, you're gonna you're gonna be able to come out your breaks just like anybody else. As long as you put the time in, so that's pretty much what I've been doing this whole time. That's pretty much what I'm gonna continue doing, just to keep improving. Well, that's what I don't understand is the fact that people look at you and say, okay, they project things that you can't do. Yeah. But if you're doing it, you're doing it. When you going out there against these smaller receivers, obviously you've done that as a tall guy your whole life. Yeah. What are some of the aspects that give you a bit of an advantage in facing receivers that may be shorter or quicker? I mean, it's just one of them things. Where pretty much like. It, 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 it plays a factor both ways. Say, for example, with a taller receiver, they're the ones I want. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I can match up with them well. You know what I'm saying? They big bodies. I can get my hands on them fast. But at the same time, the work I done put in and my ability, I'm also able to guard the little ones. You know what I'm saying? Pretty much that's why I kind of like when I got a little receiver in front of me, a faster, quicker guy. Because at the end of the day, that's going to show my quickness. That's mm -hmm. going to show me better get in and out of my breaks. That's going to show me keeping up with little guys. You know what I'm saying? And on top of these long arms, you see my, my, my height. I mean, right. all I got to do is get in phase and half the time, the receiver ain't going to be able to see around me. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So I'm blessed in many ways that God gave me a lot of talent, a lot of, you know what I'm saying, God giving ability. So for the most part, I mean, like I say, I just, I just be me and I just try to put my best self on film. At the end of the day, if you watch a film and you really know football, you're going to know, like, that boy can play football. That's what stood out to me. It's like, this dude can play some ball. And what yeah. I like most is the fact that you have ball skills. Yes, sir. Pet peeve of mine is when cornerbacks don't find the ball. Yeah. You've turned and find the ball. A lot of people are afraid to turn around because they may lose track of the receiver. Yeah. You know when the ball is in the air, it's your ball. Yeah. Where does that mindset come from? Because you do see a lot of DBs panic out there on the corner. You don't panic. Yeah. I mean, I feel like I, 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 I'm also one of them guys who didn't play corner until I was a junior in high school. Gotcha. I got a big offensive background. You know what I'm saying? I mm -hmm. always was a receiver. I always was a slot. A slot. I played H-back. I played quarterback. You know what I'm saying? So that's where a lot of my shiftiness and my you know, I, my, my, my ability came from. Just the pure fact of being a California kid. You know what I'm saying? I always had playing offense. Just always wanted to make people miss. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I always kind of wanted to break people down. I always wanted to wrap cones. I always kind of did receivers stuff, running back stuff. So when I when I made the switch to DB, I mean, I kind of just took it all and just put it on the other side of the ball. You know, it's, now I'm just backpedaling. Now I'm going forward. You know what I'm saying? And like I say, I was always blessed with great athleticism, so I was able to make the transition make it smooth as possible. Now, you've seen a lot of ups and downs at Nebraska. Yes, sir. And, but that gives you a lot of perspective. So when you look at Nebraska and how you play, what is it about that program that you say, you know what, that's a special program. I'm glad I went to Nebraska because it helped develop me as a player. I mean, that's one thing about Nebraska. Like, even though I, the, the, the only knock about Nebraska is the pure fact that I wish I'd have been walking around with a ring. I wish I'd have got a little bit more significance, you know what I'm saying? Postseason, like postseason wins, something like that, you know what I'm saying? But it was just one of them things where at the end of the day, I'd never say nothing bad about Nebraska because it really shaped me to be the man I am today, you know what I'm saying? I went through so many coaches, so many people impacted my life, so many people helped in the development that I, where I'm in today, you know what I'm saying? From I had three different position coaches, I had two DCs, I had two head coaches, I had to deal with so many different personalities, so different people, many people that at the end of the day, I learned how to adapt, I learned how to be, you know what I'm saying, just be coachable, you know what I'm saying? I, they, they, each coach kind of left, left and still something in me. If it was to pee, if it was to finish, if it was to track the ball, you know what I'm saying? Each Somebody left something with me, you know what I'm saying? So that's, that's why I appreciate Nebraska on top of all the other little off the field aspects of just, you know, just being somewhere different, being uncomfortable. But going from California, going to the Midwest, going to see snow, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Playing in the cold rather than playing in the sun, you know what right. I'm saying? Now I feel like I'm well, you know what I'm saying? I'm well equipped for any challenge at task, you know what I'm saying? So that's the day, like I say, Nebraska was a blessing for me, and I'm, I'm happy I went there. Well, you showed it out on the field. You did a great job out there. Talking to you, I know you have a lot of passion. You love the game, man. Yeah. That's what I love about you. You see it out there on the field. Yeah. Thank you for taking time, man. We wish you the best of luck moving forward. Thank you. I appreciate you for having me.